Welcome back to All Boat Called Wonder. I just want to take a minute first up to say thank you. Thank you for all the comments that I've been getting and thanks for all the people that have been watching this channel for years and, and commenting for years. I always read them and I get a lot out of them and I'm sorry that I don't always log on and reply straight away. Um, sometimes it takes me some time and sometimes I just need to unplug because I spend a lot of time in my day job uh, on, on computers. Um, but thanks so much. It's been really inspirational all the comments on what I can do with the fuel fillers and how I can reinforce this tent. First up, I got a piece of advice about, um, somebody mentioned that I should try and find some of that foam that, you know, kids bash each other up with those foams, foam poles. And so what I've found that got me thinking and I went down to the hardware store and got this insulation that goes around pipes. It's 22 millimeters. It's not cut very well, but I'm going to see if this will go over that um, top frame. Um, and somebody else said that I should put another piece of tarpaulin over, which is a good idea. I'm going to do that as well and maybe get some heavier ropes to lay on the top. I haven't actually sourced any heavier ropes yet, um, but the tent's held up. Um, the boat is dry. There's not one drop of water in the bilge, which is really great. So yeah, we've survived another week. I do need to work on that tent, so I'm going to do that next. Um, also got some really fe good feedback about um, what to do with the deck fillers. Um, and uh, I got some photos from Andy Carter. Thanks very much for that uh, via email of some really beautiful uh, chromed up polished um, uh, deck fillers and also the drains. I'd really like to do that. I'll talk about that a bit later, but I've just, I'm struggling to find a local firm that will dip them in chrome for me for a reasonable price. Anyways, first up, let's get to work on that tent, I think. This kind of works on this piece here. I just need to get it to open up a little bit more. I think what would have been really ideal, which is cheaper than this, is some um, scaffolding foam that you put over the scaffolding to protect pedestrians. But I couldn't source any of it from shops, it was all online and I ran out of time and I really wanted something today. So this is what I ended up with, which I think sh should do the job to a certain extent. Yeah, that's, that's kind of gripping on. And I can... Not Get some strapping to hold it down, make sure it doesn't uh, shift off. So that looks all right. I get this last bit. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, this is the part here. You can see it's really wearing through. I've got a sharp edge here. Need to put something over that part. Okay, so new tool. Um, reciprocating saw. I've got a Ryobi because I've got all these batteries and any tool that I'm not going to use a lot of or doesn't have to be the best quality, I just get Ryobi because it's just easier to stick to the battery set. Uh, but I'm just going to try and now cut through some stars to this PVC so I can knock it out. Um, so we can start to look at fitting the new one in here. So that's probably gone through enough, Richard. Yep. Yeah. I am definitely through, and I can smell. I've cut into some glass. God, we spent weeks on that. Yeah, that's through nicely. One. Two. Maybe these are sections are too big. Three. Four, 
cool. That was easy. Uh, top skin, core, core is good because it's all been siliconed up. It looks like there's quite a cavity there between the headliner. It's about that much space and there's some ply there. So I can kind of get rid of this edge and then I can cut out the larger hole for this. Right, next. Well, this isn't really a massive amount of fun at the moment that I'm having up here. Um, this canvas is really like knocking me down, but um, I just want to um, glue this, this guide here so I can uh, cut my 95mm hole. Uh, I know somebody made a comment that um, I didn't need a guide that I could use a 75 and a 95mm hole saw together, which is a nice idea. I think the way that works though, and correct me if I'm wrong, you need one of those sets where you can have all of the discs in together and then you could just put a 75 and a 95 together. I think maybe that was the suggestion. Unfortunately the, the drills that I've got, it's only one size at a time. So I will have to use the guide. So I'm just waiting for the hot glue to, to warm up and then uh, I'll try and make this quick. This isn't going to be very comfortable. I think I've hit some of that grey gunk that Harburg Rassi loved to use and it really just bluntens everything. Let's have a look. And that is three. Let's have a look how dirty a hole that was. Well, there we are. It's actually not too bad. I was worried that it might really shred this vinyl. Um, but it's not, so, uh, yeah, that hole is okay. Gosh, if that's the core, that's a massive amount of laminate. Look at this, here's the core here. So, unless there's wood there, now that just feels like laminate. That top skin is maybe 10, 15 mils thick. That's quite astonishing. Right, anyway, let's have a look. There's this part here. Might just need to clean that up a little bit. There we go, perfect. Uh, and then, obviously this needs to be cut down. Let me get rid of that. Now I feel like a little bit of an idiot before mentioning how thick the top core was. Of course I was looking at this block of wood. Thankfully it's not taking anything off the paint. Um, I was a bit worried this hot glue was going to rip it off but it didn't. So, so the hot glue gun is my best friend indeed. So yeah, looks like the top skin is about 5mm. Core's really nice. Absolutely dry around here, which is great. But this is really doing my head in, so I'm going to get out of this tent. There's just not enough uh, head space here. I'm going to pop down into my hole here, where I belong. Whew.
Right, one thing I am getting a little bit tired of is this uh, thickened epoxy business. Uh, but you know, it has to be done. Well, unfortunately, uh, that's all I've got time for again. It's been very quick. I'm puffing because I've been running up and down with sandbags. Um, so I lost an hour today because I couldn't find my quarter drill and the cordless drills just don't have enough speed to use the hole saw to cut through the deck. So I had to go and buy one. Um, so I lost an hour there and I spent a bit of time on the tent. But anyways, it's all good. Um, I've ordered three uh, deck fillers from Halberg Rassie Parts and three new cowlings for the Duraid boxes because the old cowlings that I had were they're like PVC vinyl or something. They're very yellowed and discoloured and scratched so I just thought I'd get new ones. So if that arrives in the week then when I come back next week I can actually finish the air, Duraids air vents. I can um, draw them in, bed them in and put them together. Um, the deck fillers I can put in as well. I really wanted to be able to reuse my deck fillers, but I just couldn't find a place, a local place that would chrome dip them for me at a reasonable price. And so I think the new ones are about 50 pounds each, 40 to 50 pounds each. If they arrive and then they're really crap quality, I think they're Ascali, they're Italian, so they should be okay. But if they're not as good as my original ones, I'll send them back and I'll just pay uh, to get my old ones chrome dipped. So that's where I'm at. Let's take a bit of a look out here. So I've not had a chance to put a second um, uh, or the new tarpaulin on. I thought I'd leave it. It'll hold till next week so I just didn't want to get out there today with all the wind and rain and try and do it. I've got sandbags here around the sides of the cockpit and they just basically stop the tarp from touching the sides so there's no chance of like you know rubbing back the paint or anything so yeah I mean it's all going the right direction slow of course but um, I think uh, yeah if all the parts arrive in the week then I'll be able to get a lot finished next week um, if they don't the other thing that should arrive with me in the week is the chain plates so I can crack on and start putting the, the chain plates back in um, there's a piece of timber up in the heads which is where the forward shame plate goes and that timber's rotten so I need to cut that out. Okay well thanks for watching have a great week and I'll see you next weekend. Cheers.